So do you guys know what this weekend is? I'll give you one hint. The first weekend of regular hunting season, which means rifles and shotguns. I'm gonna give you five tips on how to hike safely during hunting season. My name is Mike and this is Outside Chronicles. I love everything outside, hiking, backpacking, paddling. And if you do too, click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you don't miss any videos. Hunters and hikers aren't enemies. We're just using the same public lands to enjoy the outdoors. And we need to respect each other. And in my opinion, hunters deserve our respect. There is no other single group in the United States that has done more for the conservation of public lands and access to public lands than hunters. So we need to find a way to mutually use these lands. And at the end of the day, we're both just looking to get outside and enjoy ourselves. Tip number one is education. You need to understand when hunting season is. Typically, hunting season runs from October to December, but even within the hunting season, there's different levels. For example, right now it's actually bow season in my area for deer, and you can use a gun to shoot small game like squirrels. This weekend opens up rifle and shotgun for deer, so understanding where the hunters are going to be located, what they're going to be hunting for, and what method they're gonna be hunting for will help us understand where we should be hiking. This weekend we move from bow hunting to shotgun and rifle, and the level of danger between those two is different. During bow hunting season, it's not as dangerous because the hunter needs to be within a very close proximity of the deer to shoot a deer with a bow. However, when it's rifle and shotgun, they can hit a deer from 300 yards away and that bullet can ricochet in a bunch of different areas. So the level of risk is different depending on what game is open and what the hunters can use to shoot that game. Next part of education is knowing where hunting is actually allowed in your parks. A lot of town parks and county parks, hunting is usually prohibited. However, the state has several different lands and designations where hunting is acceptable. In state forests and multiple use areas, hunting is typically open season. In some state parks, hunting is allowed by permit only. Believe it or not, in Letchworth State Park, you can hunt with a permit. Part of the education is understanding the boundaries of those state lands and where you're going to go into private or public land. You'll usually see a posted sign, which means you're moving into private land and you want to stay away from there because the landowner has every right to hunt on his own land. Tip number two is wear bright clothing. You can pick up a vest like this. Uh, you can have a bright colored bandana, it, either red or orange or yellow. Uh, you can also use other bright colored clothing. For instance, this jacket. You just want to really stand out against the canopy of the forest. Camouflage, probably not a good idea. Also, plan ahead for hunting season. I buy all of my gear in bright colors. My camo black is in orange, my osprey is another orange, and this serves two purposes. One, it gives you some bright colors for hunting season, plus if you fall down a ravine or something, your friends can see you a little bit better. So when you're talking about bright clothing, don't forget about your dogs. I use a red bandana or a bright orange, bright yellow, or they make vests for your dogs. Something that's gonna make them stand out. I've never actually seen a deer wear a bandana, so I'm hoping that a hunter won't mistake my dog for a deer. And here's my other dog. Okay. And since we're on the topic of dogs, tip number three is keep your dogs on a leash. It's usually the rule in most state lands to have your dog on a leash. I know a lot of people don't, but during hunting season, it is so important for you to keep your dog on a leash. That hunter is not gonna mistake your dog if you're walking right behind it with a leash on. So please, for the sake of your dog, please keep them on a leash during hunting season. Tip number four is stay on designated trails and make some noise. We smell and we make a lot of noise. Hunters wanna get as far away from hikers as possible. So when you're on the trail, Make sure you stay on a designated trail, and also if you're with a friend, strike up a conversation so a hunter knows you're there. And finally, number five is avoid hiking in dusk and dawn. Typically, dusk and dawn is the prime time for hunters to be out hunting. If you avoid those periods, 
you're going to avoid the hunters and everybody's going to be happy. As I said before, hikers and hunters need to respect each other. We're both out there just to have a good time and enjoy the land. So if you follow these simple rules, you'll avoid confrontations with hunters and everybody's going to have a good time. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, click that like button. If you want to see other outdoor adventures, other gear how-tos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside.